What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode of Kicking It With Moats. And yes, don't be surprised, she is here, she is yeah. in the flesh. Yeah, she loves me, she loves me. I think she does at least, maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. Aww. Now nah, I feel special, ladies and gents. But with that being said, you know, we back in here, we talking kicks, and these particular shoes that we're talking about today, I'm crazy excited about because it combines one of my favorite athletes of all time and two of my favorite entertainers of all time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So before we get involved, since you're here, let me get some. Oh, 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 oh. Hey now, let's get it. Break them out. Let's see what I'm talking about. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. The Nike LeBron 9 Watch the Throne Edition. Holy cow. All right, Miss KK, a.k.a. Vanna White. This is how we're going to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. I got to talk about these. So you just hold on still. Okay. I'm going to do a lot of talking to start this thing off, okay? Okay. But first off, the Nike LeBron 9. Um, number one, this dates back to, you know, obviously it's time down with the Miami Heat. You think 2010, 2011 time frame. The LeBron 9s were just iconic when you're talking about the south beaches the miami nights i mean all of the different colorways that he did with this particular shoe were just insane i mean this is one of those all-time shoes that people just always gravitate towards but then when you talk about the collab right yeah the watch the throne collab we're talking jay-z and kanye, kanye west. west now you even remember doing that time frame of 2010 20 or actually 2011 time frame when that album dropped that's my going into my second year in Buffalo. You remember this? You know when you pulled up up there, man. Yep. You was coming to the Bills games. We will bump this, you know. Yeah. Whether whether this guys in Paris, you know, or mm -hmm. some of these other songs, <laughs> the other songs, songs, you know, yeah. from the album. But either way, it was always fun, and it always just takes me back to that particular time frame. Whenever I think about, you know, watch the Throne album, but get into these shoes, the LeBron Nines, um, the LeBron Nine times Watch the Throne. So first off, man, you get the big bold vibrant gold lace lock and it's designed you see the spikes on it and obviously the little bit of a i don't even know what you call that <laughs> on the inside right there i mean shoot i, I don't want to call it a tomb or anything like that but it looks pretty dope whatever it is but it is um it's inspired by like i said the album so when you if you look at the watch the throne album a lot of the album artwork was in black and gold it was spiked out it was these type of uh designs on it and it really you know just paralleled with kind of like the the paris fashion week and all the fashion industry and things like that because obviously kanye is really big into the uh, fashion scene and stuff like that i mean even to the extent that when you look at the laces right yeah you check out these laces and you got kanye's like yay mask on it you got the spikes up there for jay-z i mean the details on the strings are crazy and then, like I said, when you just talk about the shoe as a whole, I mean, sturdy as heck. I love the paint splatter in terms of on the sole right here. Mm -hmm. Anytime we get that clear bottom, the air bubbles and stuff like that, number one is comfort. But number two, it just looks clean. And that's the thing I'm always for, right? I want a clean look. Yeah. Let my shoe look clean. You feel me? Yeah. But then, what, what are some of the things that you see with this? Because obviously, we know it's a lot going, going on, on with the yes. shoe. But just talk about like some of the things that you see, man. Outside, inside, yeah. As soon as Dad brought these out, I was like, "Wow, <laughs> okay." The gold took me by surprise. The spikes, um, mm -hmm. the colors. They pop. It's a ton of color up here. Dad. Yeah, a lot of color. Um, the orange and the red, and there's like purple on the inside. Yeah, uh, turn around, show it to them. Yeah, let, let, let the people see what's going on. There's purple, and oh yeah, there's a gold on the back. But mm -hmm. it's just a lot of vibrant colors with the yeah. flowers, and I really do like the mask for Kanye and spikes for Jay Z. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of colors, so I'm yeah. not. Well, I, I I do think it's kind of fitting though that you know when you talk about the shoe. You talk about the people that are related to the shoe. None of those guys seem to be normal. They're all are big time. They're all in some way, shape, or form a little extra. A little bit. You know, just, just a little bit extra. So I think that that is perfect right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it also think it's dope too, man. Just going back to the LeBron 9 element of it. That, you know, when you're talking about a 10-year anniversary when the shoe dropped. The shoe, initially, like I said, when it came out in 2011, these this particular design was only for Kanye and Jay-Z solely because of the album part of it and for them to wait to the 10 year anniversary for the album for when the shoe dropped even for lebron 
to do a mass release now so that, you know, us regular folks not named Kanye, Jay-Z, or LeBron could actually get a pair of these. You know, we had to jump at that opportunity, baby. Absolutely. But yeah, I will say this in terms of wearing it, okay? Wearing it is built for a guy that is 6'9", 270 pounds, okay? Yeah. So I don't recommend opening them, but they are cool to actually put on your feet and wear around because none of us are 6'9", 270. So yeah, you don't really want to. It feels like a, it's a heavy shoe. You can feel it yourself. It's heavy. It's, it's heavy. heavy. But the style is there. I mean, like I said, this is definitely a shoe that, you know, I cannot wait to wear, especially when the weather breaks up here in Pittsburgh because yeah, it's a little, it's a little cold. It's yeah. a little snowy. We ain't messing with them out there for that. But yeah, I just, like I said, I really dig this shoe. But now that I think about it, we talk LeBron. We did LeBron versus Jordan last episode. Mm-hmm. You mean to tell me we got Jay Z and Kanye up here, huh? Where are your feelings on Jay? Um, on Jay Z, love Jay Z, awesome guy. I mean, yeah, we love you know, Jay Z. We stand for Jay Z. Jay Z is the guy. That's the guy. But Th- thoughts on, on, on Mr. Yay? Next episode, guys. No comments. Yes. Let us know in the chat, man. In the comment section, how you feel about the LeBron nine. Nah, watch the Thrones. How you feel over Kanye as well? You let us know. You let us know. But yeah, because we know that man got a lot going on right now. Whew. Mm-hmm. But he's with my former team, man. He's saying with AB. So you know what? Love. Yeah. All love. Peace, love, prosperity. <laughs> but with that being said, man, we definitely appreciate you tuning in. Shout out to these shoes. Shout out to everybody that's been watching. And until next time, baby. Peace.